a good rainy day project for canine training is making a scent box or scent boxes. And we're going to show you, ooh, look at the special effects. We're going to show you how to make a scent box for real cheap. And these are all the tools that you're going to need. You'll need a reciprocating saw with a soil pipe blade or a PVC pipe cutter, a drill with a three inch hole saw, a tape measure, scissors, a pencil, not a marker though, because the marker will leave a scent and you can just wipe the pencil off with no scent. And a small, very bright flashlight. And that's optional. We'll, we'll show you how in, in a few. You'll also need a three inch PVC pipe and flanges, uh, four flanges for four boxes and at least four feet of PVC pipe for four boxes. We prefer the three inch uh, ABS DWV pipe just because they're black. And if you notice the, the pipe on the uh, cause system, the pump box, is also black. If you have a dog that figures out, hey, the, the black pipe is the one that I get paid off of instead of the white ones, you might want to switch it up or you can just go ahead and start off with the, the black. It just wasn't available to us at the time. You also need industrial strength Velcro. You'll need 12 gallon totes. About five of them for the yeah. project. Yeah. And this is just a rundown of um, the materials that you're going to need. As you can see, it's not very easy to cut. It is. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, cut, oh, we cut nine and a half inch sections and put them in the flange. And we can, don't glue them though, but you can um, adjust them up and down if you want. And you're gonna cut three inch long pieces of Velcro. You'll need four pieces. Per flange. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about this is if you cut the hole a little bit too far back or forward or side, you can always just lift the Velcro up and replace it. Now the flashlight was used, uh, this was Anne Marie's idea, as a shortcut to know where to drill the hole. Yep, just make sure the pipe is uh, flush up against the bottom of the lid and it'll give you a perfect circle. Yep. There you go. Boom. You can use a Dremel tool if you want to uh, smooth out the edges. And that's what it looks like afterwards. Yep. And then you just drop some balls in there. And to cut the rest of the lids, I just place the pre-cut one over the ones that did not have a hole yet. Simple. And now Easy all the boxes see. will look the same. The holes are exactly the same, which is what you want. And this is where um, I'm placing the Velcro on the actual cause system so that, that way it stabilizes it um, just because it does jump a bit when you go to activate it. So, and then this way we can also take it out of the box when we actually want it stored. And just drop the ball in. Boop. Now Rudy's going to demonstrate how it works. Thank you, Rudy. Nice. Thank you very much, Anna Rudy, for helping me out with this project. Uh, of course. Hey, am I, am I pay for this? Thank you, Working Dog Dry Goods, for uh, their input on this project and also for their sales of the cost system. And thank you to Colossal Canine for donating Rudy's new personalized collar with the uh, new click lock system. Good luck, everyone. Stay safe.